In just a few hours, Fordham basketball returns home looking for their fourth winning conference this season, but it won't be easy. The LaSalle Explorers have a 500 record in the A-10, and they're coming off a tough overtime loss this past Sunday to St. Louis. Speaking of tough losses, Fordham suffered one of their own against Davidson on Saturday. The team has spent its last few weekends traveling to warmer climates. Tournaments in South Carolina, Arizona, and most recently Florida have all helped the Rams heat up as they prepare for their home opener scheduled for March 25th. This formula paid off for the Rams this year. They won 14 games during the regular season and even clinched a playoff win before they fell in a hard-fought overtime loss to Stevens in the championship. Brandon Marshall makes this team better to begin with. I mean, I think that it's already a good sign from Mike McCagan and the GM that he's bringing in, you know, a very talented wide receiver. Probably him and Decker together would be the most talented wide receiver pair the Jets have had in the last five years since they had Santonio San Holmes and Braylon Edwards back in 2010 when they made that run into the AFC Championship game. How will playing on this benefit some of the student athletes that get the chance to play on the field? Well, you notice as we walk on it, uh, it feels really good on your ankles and your knees. It makes sense for the Eagles to maybe do this, and if the Jets, then yeah, why not? I agree. Um, I agree that I think, honestly, the Jets should make that trade because while I think Marcus Mariota is a franchise quarterback, I think he's a franchise quarterback for a specific franchise. Tip off right here from the Rose Hill gym between the Rams and the Explorers is set for 7 o'clock. For WFUV Sports, I'm Kelly Coltis. The Fordham men's hockey team came just short of its second straight championship after having one of the best years in team history. Haven't heard of them? Well, you're not the only one. Fordham hockey is kind of uh, Fordham's best kept secret. You know, we, uh, we won the championship last year. We've been competitive in our division every year. One of this team's secrets is its strong relationship between its captains and its newcomers. This has been key to their success on the ice. Coming in freshman year, I really looked up to the captains. They helped, you know, coming to college is not the easiest of the transi transition. They helped me transition to college and uh, the hockey team. And I am just trying to do that for the younger kids as well. One of those freshmen, Billy and the other captains help guide, is defenseman Nick Alardi. And uh, really the seniors have uh, really been really supportive of the freshmen coming in. And it's been a nice experience so far. So. This formula paid off for the Rams this year. They won 14 games during the regular season and even clinched a playoff win before they fell in a hard-fought overtime loss to Stevens in the championship. Still, this season has been a success, and that happened despite the fact that the team receives only a little support from the university. The hockey team, I would have to say, is probably one of the least recognized on campus. Just, I mean, as last year when we won, people, I think that might have been the first time a lot of people heard about the hockey team. One of the main reasons for that is because the team's home base is the Mount Vernon Ice Hutch, located about 15 minutes away from campus. <laughs> Another reason is because hockey at Fordham is a club sport, so they don't get all the perks of Division I teams. Still, these guys say that doesn't bother them. You know, it's a nice group, everybody's super supportive, we all hang out, good friends, great stuff. For these guys, all that matters to them is that they get to still play. Being uh, competitive in high school, playing every day. It's just nice to still be out here. I know thinking that I was going to be 21 years old playing hockey still, I, uh, I couldn't believe it. And so far, as these guys say, whether they're recognized or not, they've made their school pretty proud. For Fordham Nightly News, I'm Kelly Coltis. When you think of softball, the first image that comes to mind is an outside green diamond not the inside of a college field house. However, that's the reality the Fordham softball team faces at the start of every season. It's definitely not like the real thing at all. The balls, you have to use softies the whole time, so that takes away the entire feel of the bounces that you'll get outside on the dirt with real balls. During the winter in New York, however, it's impossible for the team to practice outdoors in the snow and freezing conditions, so they spend their time inside at the Lombardi field house. Sophomore infielder Lindsay Mayer says it's frustrating to practice indoors. Coming back in here, hard to see the ball, not getting as good of contact because balls are hitting the ceiling left and right, so it's just frustrating after a while, but... Playing inside also affects how the team hits, pitches, and fields, which can affect their play, especially in earlier games. It's tough. It's definitely um, something that we have to deal with that puts us at a disadvantage to other teams that we play, especially facing tough competition early. Teams who have been outside the entire winter, who have been on their dirt, on their fields, um, there's no comparison. Uh, they definitely have a defensive advantage over us. 
and that competition takes place far away from the Rose Hill campus. The team has spent its last few weekends traveling to warmer climates. Tournaments in South Carolina, Arizona, and most recently Florida have all helped the Rams heat up as they prepare for their home opener scheduled for March 25th. Still, the Rams don't mind the heavy travel schedule because it allows them to play on the actual field. I would say that it's great. I mean, anything's better than being inside, so can't really wait for uh, A-10s to start. Despite some of the difficulties the team faces playing on a foreign surface, they've already notched some big wins, including one over nationally ranked Minnesota. Um, I would just say that it was great because our team really came together and I mean especially the first inning. Our games had been canceled the previous day so I really think the first inning we just came out ready to win and exploded right off the bat. However, everyone agrees they'd much rather stay on the field than come back inside. When we first go outside, I know our first tournament, it's like we can't wait to get outside. We're always, it's so exciting. And then to come back after being outside to back to practice in here, it gets a little weary and definitely people it kind of drags a little because it's like, oh, we're just outside on dirt and now we're back in this place. And they especially want to play on their home dirt. We always play very well at home. We love to defend our home turf. Um, there's no better feeling than playing at Fordham on the beautiful campus with sunshine, our parents in the stands. Um, you know, it makes the, the weeks of travel worth it because you really appreciate what you have here when you're able to play at home in front of such great fans. Hopefully they'll get that chance in just a few days. For Florida Nightly News, I'm Kelly Coltis.